Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick review and overview of the Ruger PC carbine, which stands for pistol caliber carbine. This one is a 9mm. I believe they're eventually planning to do 40 and 10mm and maybe 45s. I'm not sure, but you never can tell. Uh, judging from the size of the bolt, uh, it probably could handle those larger calibers. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. It uh, retails for $779 currently. This one I got for about $500, including the Romeo Optic. And it is a handy about seven pound carbine. Um, they all come in this takedown configuration, which I don't really particularly have any use for, but I can see how some people would really like it. The sights are uh, ghost ring or peep rear and a blade front with protector, threaded muzzle. And the sights are mounted onto the barrel, which is smart because obviously that takedown feature makes it so that you know you want the sights to be mounted on the single piece of the barrel. The barrel is chrome molly, cold hammer forged, fluted. Uh, the controls are all reversible. The magazine release can be flipped easily to either side. I have it on here because I shoot lefty and I just grab it with my thumb like this. Um, the bolt knob or bolt handle can be easily swapped to both sides. This one has, I think this is a tandem cross, I'm not sure, um, added to it as well so that we can run it either way at the range, left or right-handed. One thing I really like about it is that it's sort of the 1022 style bolt hold open, except it actually functions properly. So it locks the bolt back on an empty magazine and Unlike the 1022, which you have to pull back the bolt and then push forward on the forward part of this blade. On this, you just pull back the bolt, give it a tug, and off it goes. So that's a, that's a superior system. And if you want to manually lock it, you just push forward on, push up on that little tab and pull the bolt back and it'll lock back. The receiver is anodized aluminum and has a Picatinny rail on top. This particular configuration comes with the regular standard traditional forehand. You can also get them for about $100 more with a aluminum free floated uh, rail on the front portion. And then for another $100, around $1,000 MSRP, you can get a pistol grip configuration with an aluminum lower receiver and a telescopic butt plate. Sorry, yeah, telescopic rear, yeah, butt pad. Um, this also comes with three half inch spacers for the stock, so you can adjust it however you like. Uh, grips pretty nicely palm swelled on both sides and has a fine but effective texturing on it, same as the forehand. And takedown is you take these two screws out and you can remove the rear. Uh, rear half of the receiver, the receiver <laughs> from the stock, if you want. Um, other than that, very fun, very effective, very cool. Super fun to shoot indoors at steel or at anything close up at steel with PC carving. That's one of the advantages and selling points of these AR9 or PC carving or nine millimeter carving style rifles is that you can shoot Anything you can shoot with a 9mm pistol, you can shoot with these, and you get sort of a rifle experience up close, which you normally are not supposed to do with like high speed 5.56 stuff. Um, everyone really likes this. It kicks a little harder than you would expect because it's a direct blowback action. There's nothing that locks the bolt into battery. So the mass of the bolt, which is fairly significant, is the only thing that holds the bolt and the barrel together the chamber closed until the bullet exits the barrel and the pressure drops safely, then the bolt comes back. So that mass, because it's blowback operated, thumps you pretty pretty good. So it's, you know, it's not like shooting a 22, but it is not unpleasant. And it's actually kind of fun to shoot for people who are, you know, moving up from a 22 rifle to something a little bit more powerful. So it's not, you know, it, it gives them a little bit more of a push, but it's not unpleasant. 
Some people don't like it because it feels kind of a sharp recoil, but you can also add a muzzle brake compensator to the muzzle. That's debatable how effective those are on a nine millimeter rifle, but some people like them, especially for competition. Super fun for steel shootings. The only thing that I don't like about it is that the cheek comb is too low for me. Even with the iron sights, if you get a really good cheek weld on here, your eyes are too low. They don't line up with the sights. And with an optic on it, it's, you know, basically you're getting a chin weld. So I've considered getting an extended, you know, a, a riser. They make cheek risers for these, but it's still, you know, livable. That's the only, my only uh, minor ding I would have on it. The trigger is not super great. It's relatively crisp, 1022 style. Um, it's actually pretty good, actually, compared, you know, especially for, for today. It's, there's minor, a little bit of slop. It's a single stage trigger, but there's a little bit of free play before you, you're on the wall and then a nice clean snap. And then the reset is all the way, all the way out there. So not the fastest, not the best, but definitely shootable. Feels like it's about four, four and a half pounds. Maybe. And let's shoot some more. Forgot to mention that this comes with Ruger SR9 compatible magazines and magwell, but you can also get, it also includes a, a, an insert for the, Glock standard nine millimeter pattern magazines, which is super cool. That's actually a very smart move by Ruger. So this is a Glock 17 style size magazine. Shoot right handed so that you can see. This is a little bit weird for me. Handy little carbine, super fun. Definitely consider picking one up and see you next time.